Uh, we're excited. The kids have had a great summer. Uh, they've worked their tails off to it, and really now it's go time. you got to get a chance to get into fall camp. Some real decisions are going to be made, and we put the, the bulk of that work, and, and we're playing football again, which is going to be great to see. We'll start with the linebackers. Uh, just how, how do you feel about that position, and, and uh, what kind of storylines or questions or, or just kind of themes are you looking at going into fall camp there? Yeah, I think we've had a great summer. Marco's done a great job of coming back from a physical standpoint, so he's moving as well as I've seen him move here in the past, really, and his, his summers really went the way we wanted to go. Jake, Jake Rip had a great great spring and he's catapulted that right into summer so those two guys have you know really stepped up drew's had a really good summer also i like where drew's at I like he's at from a physical standpoint and a mental standpoint and there's a lot of guys we got to see from there you know chase martin's had a good spring uh, easy's had a good excuse me summer uh, same thing with clay martino i think he's a young guy that you got to keep an eye on off of that gavin hamrick so we i'm pleased with where we're at with our linebacker progression we're going to need a lot of those guys to play it's a long season and then they, a lot of them need to be active in the special teams game also with Andrew Simpson, I think 16 tackles for loss last year. How do you, when you went back and watched the tape and now seeing him in spring and stuff, how do you utilize him and, and is it going to be the same because of his knack for getting in the backfield? Do you try to do some things in terms of bringing him off the edge a little more? I mean, how do you best use Andrew Simpson? Yeah, we got to put Andrew in different positions across the board and give him a chance to do what he does best. Now, Andrew does a lot of things well, but he's got an innate ability to blitz and rush the pass or rush the edge. And when I say blitz, it's also in the run game. So for us to be able to move him inside and outside with pressure, to be able to highlight him, um, is something we'll change up a little bit with Drew, and he's ready for that. In terms of the special teams, uh, maybe we'll get to the kicker and punter, but the return game. What, what we've talked about in spring, but you know, bless your boys, it didn't didn't return a lot. And in, 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 you're more of an aggressive style. It sounds like you're going to return more. Who are we going to see back there returning those kicks and punts? Yeah, so we've worked through spring. You know, we saw a handful of guys, and we've added some guys as we go into the summer also. So Latrell Caples did a nice job in the spring. He'll continue doing summer. Ashton's working a ton on both phases. You know, adding Cooper Jones and Caden Chan, both guys that have came in here, they'll help us in the return game. Penry's a guy who's been around. Uh, Devon Banks will help. We'll look at him as a kick returner also. So uh, Caden Dudley, there's a crew of guys. Now what we got to do is whittle that down here in the first couple weeks, find out as we get get close, you know, because those guys, if they're not returning for us, they got value in other areas on special special teams but that's a question around here all the time but but Ashton Genty or your star star players like how do you weigh having them back there in the return game versus their most important asset being at you know a different position yeah, if we can find a way to change make game changing plays on special teams we're going to use those guys and Genty would certainly be, I mean, he, that'd be an intriguing guy to have back there. Yeah, and we did, you know, if you look at last year, Nick Singleton, who was a running back at, at Penn State, he returned kicks for us. He was able to, you know, give us great starting field position at that. So it's got to fit within Ashton's skill set, which he's an extremely skilled young man. And then giving him the ability to open and open up in space, if he gives us that best chance to give a starting field position, he'll be the guy who does it for us. Is he a guy that wants, wants the ball as much as he can? I mean, if it's kick return, punt return, I mean, whatever it is, he, he, I assume that's not something he'd shy away from. No, not at all. But we also got a group of other guys, I think, that will be in there competing their tail off four two because it is a little bit different skill set certainly punt return to kick return what did you make when you saw the video of Jonah Dalmas kicking a football over a pool uh, down in Las Vegas? There? I, just, I don't understand how I didn't get the invite, man. I want to be down in that pool hanging out. i got to watch this stuff on YouTube right there. So we're, we're going to have to get that cleaned up in the future. But it was awesome. That was a great deal. It was cool. For, for him and, and uh, you know, to kind of play up the, the, hi, you know, the hype a little bit for him and approaching the record and with what you got going on with JFR, I mean, I know you're wanting to get it, coach him and get him better, but to have a starting place when you got here of a kicker and punter like that, I mean, what, what, what kind of kind of luxury is that it's great those guys are and, and you know the whole deal with all the while well, the noise from the outside but it's all about them getting their job done I, and I think the guy who doesn't get enough attention is Mason Hutton he's done a great job at long snapper so when you put that battery together that's been a huge piece of all of it and are we going to see a lot of starters on special teams absolutely we're going to play our best guys and you know I talked to the team again this morning when we had one of our special teams meetings it's how do you find your skill set that separates you and it might be our starting safety it might be our four string safety but who gives us the best chance to give us field position to win it might be our starting running back it might be our four string running back but who's going to give us within each unit a unique skill set that gives us the Boise State Broncos a chance to win each game a guy that you know been at Penn State and coaching these big time you know whatever they're called now New Year's Six you know type bowl games CFP bowl games like fans in Boise Idaho like that's the goal this year and that's like almost feel like it'll be a disappointment if it doesn't happen in terms of the CFP like how the excitement the hype going into Wednesday like how do you keep the players from getting too overhyped themselves and do you guys embrace that and I guess it's got to be exciting though to have those aspirations being realistic for you. Yeah, we're going to take it day by day. We had to have the best special teams meeting we could have this morning, and it was damn good. And we need, to, and that's the key. I mean, if we can stack those days, if we can have our best practice, we can have our best meetings tomorrow as we roll through it, and then Wednesday, can we have our best practice and walkthroughs? That's how you get to where you want to be, and stack that day by day. If we get too far ahead, that's going to cause issues right there. So this is a grounded crew. They know what they have to do. They know the work they need to put in. It's our job to make sure we're getting that done every single day. 
Stacey Collins, appreciate your time. Uh, have a fun year, man. Absolutely. Thanks, Beach.